Hey, it's Aran here. Welcome to another System IO Tech tutorial where I'm going to share with you how to grant access to somebody for a course that they may have purchased elsewhere or that is included as part of some sort of a bundle. Or if you migrated students from somewhere else and you want to give them access for free in System IO now, I'll show you how to get that set up. You need to be aware of it at this the time of recording, which is March uh, 2023. You cannot actually give a 100% coupon code for system IO customers who are coming to buy from your website. So you cannot give them a code that says, um, you know, course 100, and that's the coupon code, and it's 100%. You have to have at least 99%, which means that you cannot give full free access. Now, there's two ways to overcome it. You can, number one, assign them the course manually. You can do it by uploading a CSV, for example, agreed, or just manually inputting the students, something along these lines. Or another thing you could do is set up an automation in a squeeze page funnel, which basically automatically triggers access to the course. And I'm about to show you how to do exactly that. So the context of this tutorial is that I signed up to be part of a course bundle. And in the course bundle, I need to give access to those that bought the bundle and um, give people access for that one course that I gave access to. So I need to create that specific page for the bundle purchasers. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit more full on. I'm gonna do a like a welcome video and things like that, just because I wanna give that unique experience. Because you gotta understand if you're doing a bundle, you want to, you need to understand that you are, even though you're collaborating with 20 or 30 other course creators or digital product makers, and everybody's kind of pitching in into a, a cohesive package, which is really high value package. That's all great. The reality is you want to you only get the actual email subscribers. You only get the people in your list if they actually download your freebie. So I want to give them a really solid user experience as soon as they land on my page when they're exploding, exploring which digital product they want to get access to, they're going to get mine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find the funnel and I'm going to create a specific page for that specific um, account, basically, or that particular bundle. So I'm going to go to landing page challenge because that's the offer that I'm giving. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on add step in the add step. I'm going to call this courses that we love bundle. And I'm going to make this squeeze page, click on save. And then I'm going to, you can pick any of these templates. Okay. That's option number one. Now, in my case, I actually have a templates and coaching membership because I already have a whole bunch of uh, templates that I've already created. So for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to uh, pick uh, one of these. Okay, just because it's gonna make my life a little bit easier. However, in my case, because I do have the templates and coaching, you can go to, I can go to the courses and then click here on the templates and coaching membership. And then there's a searchable library of templates. So if you click here on the searchable templates library and then click on system, you will see that there's a bunch of templates right here already there. So I'm gonna click on it. It will take me to the lesson and there's a bunch of templates here. Now, because it's my account that I'm sharing this from, it's already going to be there. So um, me clicking it is not going to do anything. But um, in case you are watching this video and you're in my templates membership, that's how I would recommend you do that. So now let's just pick something uh, blank for the sake of demonstration. So uh, let's grab this one, short and sweet. And I'm going to call this bundle courses that we love. Save, click on the edit. Now I'm going to include a few things. Number one, I'm going to make this page. You'll see I'm, I'm building a landing page. So first of all, I'm going to make this medium. So it's a little bit bigger. And also I'm going to include a video right here. Now the video is going to be a custom embed, which I have hosted elsewhere on a software called Videlo, because that's where I host all my sales pages. You'll see why in a second. It's just a cool little thing like that. Okay, so I'm going to make this, let me just make my face a little bit smaller and make this, yeah, Poppins is good. I'm going to drag another one. Please watch this short video explaining my offer, the offer you are receiving from me as part of this bundle called the landing page challenge. Okay, I'm going to make this a different color. I'm going to change the background as well. So it's got a different background image. I don't want this particular image. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to make this text, give it a bit of space as well. Give this a little bit of space too. Make this color more branded to me. Okay, that's that. Now, instead of sending me the training video, I will say, get access to the landing page challenge done for you. And then this one is going to be 
this a bit bigger. Instead of regular, make it bold. Okay, I won't make it full width, I'll make it fluid, like so. And make this also shadow, hard shadow. And this particular thing, I'm going to make this also shadow, mild shadow. Okay, so that's that. Now you'll notice how this page looks like. So I'm going to click on save, click here, see what that looks like. So people are seeing that and they scroll through and they'll see it and enter the name and email. Okay, now let's change the text here. Put your name and email address below to receive instant access to the landing page challenge done for you version members area. Okay, make sure this is big enough and clear. I'll make this dark as well. Here I'll say, I'm Aran, what's your name? Your best email address here, please. And then in this case, I'm also gonna do a confirmation where they're going to need to check, yes, I agree to receive emails from you. Please check this box to submit your email address and get access. And left, right, I'm gonna move this like this a bit more. So that's that. Now I'm going to now, now that the landing page is fully done, I'm just going to make this a little bit different as well. So I don't like how this looks. Okay. And this one, instead of having this crazy padding, I'm going to click here and I'm going to make the padding. Cool. Click on save. We're happy with that. Video's all good. Click on save. Click here to preview it. Good, I'm happy with all of that. And if I try to submit, you'll see, please check the box to submit the email, your email address and get access. So they have to tick that, that's what that is. So now let's go back here. Now that it's saving, it's all good. I'm happy with how it is. Oops, save again. I'm gonna exit. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to obviously create a thank you page. Courses that we love bundle, thanks. Opt-in thank you. Click on save and I'm gonna grab the thank you page from here. So I think this is the one. Let me just make sure, cause it might be exactly the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna move it down here. I'm gonna delete this one. There's no real need to recreate this, that's fine. And then now here's the important piece. So now with the confirmation, once they sign up, I'm gonna do a couple of things. Number one, I'm gonna add a rule. Funnel form step subscribed. I'm going to add an action. In my case, I'm going to add a tag. Tag is landing page done for you buyer, which is this one. Save rule. And then I'm going to add another rule, which is very important. Um, actually, I've got that rule already set up. So I'm going to go to workflows. So you'll see here, if I click on workflows, you'll see that I already have set up. Let me scroll down. Landing page challenge done for you buyer. The workflow is already set up. So when a tag is added, enroll them in the course and send an email to my virtual assistant. To let them know. Now in this case, I'm also going to send them a little welcome email because they should get a welcome email and I'm going to type it in now. Landing page challenge done for you version. Hey, first name. Congratulations on joining the landing page challenge done for you version. This is an extremely hands-on challenge where you work with me and my team to get your list builder done. Please go ahead and check the login details. You should have received another email with that. You can always log in by going to this page around.link forward slash login. First two steps for you are one, book a time with my virtual assistant for your onboarding to pick your platform in case you haven't already. Click here to do that. Click here to go to the lesson. Click here to please reply to this email to let me know you received it. I am extremely accessible and would love to hear from you and get to know you and your business on a more personal level. Okay, so that's that. Now the lesson they're gonna get access to is landing page challenge. And I'm gonna give them this link for the platform because I wanna make the affiliate commission. It's very important for me in this particular case. Include this link. And then the book the call, I'm gonna take them straight to the thank you page basically. So let me do that now. Let me just save that because I need to grab the link. Let's go back, back here. Courses that we love bundle. Make sure this is working. 
perfect. And let's go back here to the landing page, go back to automation rules, go back to the email. I messed up by not adding the email. So let me just add the action again, send email. Here's the beauty, right? The emails are actually saved. So I didn't really lose it, which is, I love the, I love system about like, that's just so helpful. Book a call. Do a little heart. Okay. And then let's make this a link as well. Cool. All right. A little nice email. And that's that. Now we're going to save the rule. Make sure you save it. Now that that's all done, it's time for testing. So I'm going to go here, new incognito window, do a test, a little video. Okay. Enter your email. So um, bundle test, we'll call that funnel education plus bundle test. I'm going to try and join. No, click again, click here. It should take me to the thank you page. And it's going to take me to the calendar. Perfect. Now let's go back to my email to see that I received the welcome email. And here's the email. So first email received is this one, the important access to your training, which is this one. And the second email is the welcome. Hi, bundle test. Congratulations on joining the landing page challenge done for your version. You received access to this part of the purchase of the course that you love bundle. This is an extremely hands-on challenge where you work with me and my team to get your list build done. Please go ahead and check the login details. You should have received the email. You can log in by checking out this. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, perfect. Let's see if we have an event. Okay, perfect. Perfect. One other thing that I did want to add is um, the actual sales page as well, so they can actually see. Um, so I'll include that in the email. So let me just do that now. So I'm going to go back to automation rules, final step subscribed, send email. Okay, so I'm going to link that. Okay, and that's that. Save and done. So that's how people are getting access to this particular lesson. Now when I'm ready to share it, I'm going to click here and I'm going to share this link with the bundle creator, basically, to let them know, okay, here's the link, and then they can then add it to the bundle. So everybody can get access um, when they are ready for those that have actually purchased it. So this is applicable, especially if you are already got students in another platform, uh, things along these lines, and this is how you set up the automation. Another workaround for the exact same thing is if you upload a CSV file. Now you'll notice that I did the workflow when I set up the tag. So add a tag, enroll in the course, send an email, and you could do send an email to the person, not just an email to my VA. So you can click on add action, send an email um, right here and send it to the person. Okay. Now the way this would work specifically is if you're uploading a CSV file and then when you're uploading a CSV file, let me just show you when you are um, uploading it, you got to choose what tag you want that CSV file to receive. Okay. So um, th there you go. That's about it. Hope you get value from this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'm happy to record more tutorials on System.io if you've got any questions. Uh, that's about it. If you want to learn more about my um, tech support membership or templates and coaching membership, there'll be links below. Around.link forward slash DCT is my tech support membership. Aroundtemplates.com is my templates and coaching membership. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and hit the like button. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.